Sweet digs. So it is Monday evening at 7.21 p.m. and we are off to do some groceries. I need some fruit, some bananas, I want some more watermelon, of course. But yeah. We'll see what type of haul we come up with. What are you going to get? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I have enough. Perfect. So we are off to my 35 week, two day pregnancy checkup. I go every two to three weeks and it's just a checkup. She just weighs me, uh, measures my uterus slash the baby, um, gives me a little poke and pull on my stomach and then that's usually it and we've had all good news so far so I'm sure today will be the same. Mark is coming with me today. He decided to take the morning off so that's nice. I don't have to sit in that boring waiting room by myself. Sometimes it can uh, take a couple hours but she's a great doctor so I shouldn't complain. So he's with me eating his granola bar. I brought lots of water. And I also brought a smoothie because halfway through waiting, I'm usually starving. So I'm sure that will help me. So I'll let you know how the appointment goes and I'll talk to you soon. We are leaving our appointment and it went really well. Um, she confirmed that he is head down and he is also moving down. So that's exciting. Um, I was kind of worried that he wasn't head down. So that's taken some anxiety away from me so I'm very happy right now and then she said to go visit the um, birthing unit because it wasn't a busy day to get a little tour so we did that and when we were going into the elevator up to the birthing unit what did we see we saw a little freshie going home for the first time so yeah we saw a couple with their newborn and they were leaving the hospital and gave me all the feelings <laughs> so yeah we got a list of things to pack in our bags even though I already have them packed and I already have all of this in there <laughs> but she said we can bring the laptop and has Wi-Fi and the rooms are really nice and there's a jacuzzi tub for me to labor in so yeah it's a good day I'm gonna go home and clean and relax we are headed into Ottawa well, we live in Ottawa, but not where we live. We're heading into a busier area to go to Babies R Us. We have a gift certificate and I have a few things that I want to get. So yeah, we're going to go check that out. I brought my dinner with me. Got some gluten-free pasta, some tomato sauce and day of cheese. I find my appetite isn't as big as it once was. I uh, think I'm running out of room in this belly. But at my appointment today, she weighed me and I didn't gain any weight in the last three weeks. But she said it was fine and she wasn't concerned. So I'm just gonna try and eat more and try and fatten this little baby up. So I thought I would show you what we got at Baby's R Us yesterday. I'm just gonna open the blinds. Oh God. All right. So we picked up this musical mobile has little safari animals. Um, we got a playpen from my aunt and she used it with my cousins and it's nothing fancy and we're gonna use that but it didn't have a mobile so we went out and got that um, just to have on the main level when we're down there and he's sleeping or we're trying to get him to sleep and we also got this cream for the lady areas. <laughs> My um, cousin's wife recommended that to me. She said that she hasn't had any cracking or bleeding on her nipples, so I'm hoping that that cream does the same for me. <laughs> and lastly, we got a deluxe healthcare and grooming kit. So it has the thermometer, the nail clippers, has everything on the back here. But yeah, medicine dispenser, everything you need to groom baby. So that's what we got. What am I trying to do here? 
So yeah, that's our little haul. It's finally coming to an end with buying stuff for Lincoln. Um, we're seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. And our next project is to organize this closet. I think we're going to build some shelves. I didn't realize you needed so much stuff when you have a baby. So right now his closet is packed. So like with the breast pump and the his bath center and he has toys here. Blankets. I'll show you the other side. So we have diapers, car seat covers. But yeah, he just has a lot of stuff already. And we might build some shelving. Um, on one side we might have like three tier clothing rack and on the other side all shelves. So Mark and I are going to look into that and see what we can do. Just sitting here in his room. I find I've been sitting in here a lot lately just taking it all in. Just the colors and the smells. It already has that baby smell from all his stuff in here. All his washed clothes and his baby bath stuff. So I just like coming in here. Um, with the day getting closer, I starting to feel all the feelings like I'm very excited but I'm also feeling scared <laughs> I think I'm just putting too much pressure on myself um, I just want to be the best mom that I can be and give them the best life that I possibly can but I have to keep telling myself that being a parent is not always easy and I can just do the best that I can and that's that but yeah I didn't realize I'd be feeling so many emotions as the day gets closer, but I guess that's all part of being a mom-to-be. So yeah. Gotta keep breathing. <laughs> all will be okay. I just put some water on to boil. I'm making some gluten-free pasta. I had some yesterday and it didn't give me heartburn, so win-win. And it's filling and has lots of yummy calories and carbs so that's what I'm looking for right now um, my dad messaged me this morning asking if um, I knew what hospital was best for him to go to um, he's having severe back pain he's having a hard time standing walking sitting sleeping yeah he's just in a lot of pain he's had back problems for years but it's acting up again he had a herniated disc and a bulging disc right on top of each other before and it's never gone away so I hope he gets some answers. Um, he was going to go to Cornwall to the hospital but I said get your butt to Ottawa. You probably have better luck here and yeah because there's more specialists and surgeons and all that accessible to him so. He's at the Ottawa Civic Hospital, and I just got an update. They just gave him a shot of Dilaudid and a catheter, and they seem kind of concerned, so they're going to give him an MRI as soon as possible and see if he needs surgery or what the next step's going to be. So, yeah. It kind of has me in a <laughs> poopy mood. Um, it's just hard knowing that someone you love so much is in so much pain especially your dad who has been you know that strong backbone in your life <sighs> I get emotional just talking about it <laughs> but yeah I hope he gets some answers today and I'm just waiting for another update so to cheer me up I thought pasta would be good and maybe some candy <laughs> so I'm just gonna eat and relax and See what the day brings. This little guy can always make me feel better. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I lay down with him and he leaves. Oh. Oh.
This beautiful pot of pasta is almost complete. I'm so excited. So this is what I'm putting on my pasta. This is the sauce. Some ragu. Tomato, garlic, and onion. This is two and a half servings of vegetables for every half of cup. Half of half cup of sauce. So that and some day of cheese. Some dairy-free mozzarella. Time to strain. my dad his girlfriend's on his phone right now because he can't really be on it um, I was gonna go to the hospital and bring them food so I told her get a food writer writer food order ready and then I would bring them food and then she texts me back saying that they don't want me to go because they don't want me to catch something at the hospital because I'm a prego bear so yeah, they're not letting them eat in case they need to operate. Yeah, I'm just very restless and I thought I would go see them, but I guess I'll just sit here and wait around for the next update and yeah, fun day. Someone's tired. Is he going to roll off the table? Wouldn't be surprised. He's cute, just like you. <laughs> so I'm just filling up the tub right now. Um, I think it's time for a little me time. Um, as you know, I've had kind of a stressful day with everything going on with my dad. <clears throat> and at my baby shower, I was given a bag of Lush goodies. So I'm going to use this Lush bath bomb. And I looked up the description online, and it's called a yoga bomb. And the description says, Take it slow. Designed to be slow frothing with a meditative blend of color and earthy grounding oils. This bomb creates a sanctuary of calm in the tub. Which I need right now. Uh, drop this seemingly simple orange bomb into a warm bath and watch as it froths up in slow fizzing layers of mesmerizing color. Inhale the deeply relaxing scents of sandalwood, olibanum, and whole wood oils and take a journey on the self, of the self. So it's a vegan product and the sandalwood scent is one of my favorite smells. So pretty excited about this. So I'm going to have a nice long bath and call it a night. I had to share that with you guys. Thought it was too pretty not to. Good morning everyone so it is Thursday the I don't know what let me check baby brain August 25th so baby's due date is September 25th so <laughs> that's kind of exciting so I'm just going to drink my smoothie give it the old taste test I haven't had any yet. passes my test. I don't know what the criteria is except for delicious, but yeah, I'm going to drink that and I'm going to cut up this melon. Mark drew a face on it. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the belly and the watermelon are doppelgangers officially, so. I've officially turned into a melon. I wouldn't be surprised because I can't go a day without it now. Um, it's just so refreshing and juicy and perfect. Yeah, like I said the other day, my appetite is here, not there. <laughs> I feel like uh, Lincoln's taking up all the room, which is fine because I want a big chunky baby. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ingest some fruit. Finish cutting up the melon, cut this one into little normal strips. And this one here, I just kind of dug it out with a spoon. I like just having little pieces to snack on. So that's the watermelon situation and I'm very excited to eat it. Good morning. Good morning. Just checking out his friends outside. There's some chipmunks and birds and it's his happy place. I started writing out the thank you cards from our baby showers and I have a little helper. Every time I put down paper or a book he always lays on it. My other cat did the same thing so it must be a kitty thing. But yeah he was just pretty much asleep on the paper but I can't get mad because look how cute he is. He's purring away, so I'm just gonna keep trucking. Two down, that many to go. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. So I'm just hanging out here, working on thank you cards still, eating some watermelon, and watching some makeup videos. Um, I'm about to do some laundry. Uh, Lincoln got some new clothes at his baby shower on Sunday, so I gotta wash that. So I can put it away in his room. But yeah. Oh my goodness. Hiccup, hiccup, hiccup. Mark is at his grandparents. Um, he is showing them how to work Netflix because they got the internet installed. And he's eating dinner there. I was supposed to go, but I'm just not feeling that well. So I think staying home in the AC is my best bet. Um... I usually never say no to family events, but as I get larger in the belly area, I'm more and more uncomfortable. So I'm most comfortable at home, so I'm just trying to listen to my body. But yeah, I'm going to whip up something quick for dinner and just chill out here. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.